Everyone, I just thought I'd do a five minute theatre scrub video. It's because, well, one of the main reasons why I really want to do it is a lot of my students are coming back and saying, I didn't see the actual five minute hand wash done that way. So I want to give you a demo on the five minute hand wash that I do. And I also want to acknowledge the fact that I actually got some of these ideas from the Acorn Standards and a real good friend of mine, Wendy Lim. So first of all, what I like to do is uh, just to make sure that I don't have any jewelry on. So even some, some areas will tell you that uh, wedding rings aren't acceptable and in some places wedding rings can be a bit of a, a deal breaker and maybe allow you to have your wedding rings on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start turning the water on now. So with, um, when, you, when you turn the water on, I'm just waiting for it to warm up. It's perfectly fine to open up your brush and leave your brush on the lip of the actual basin in your theatres, okay? And all your good theatres will have a, a, an accessible clock. So I'm actually just looking at a clock now. So um, I just also like to encourage you to use your elbows whenever you're communicating with the soap or the taps or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just wet my forearms and I'm gonna get some soap. So once I actually get some soap, and get a lather up to my elbows, my five minute hand wash starts now. So what we're actually doing is that we're actually counting the contact time of the soap with your actual limbs. So what I'm doing now is I'm washing my hands and I'm moving both hands towards each other. So you can also see that I'm getting a good lather up as well. Um, a lot of people like to think about the hands as different planes and different sort of surfaces, but I like to more think about it as a 360 degree wash of your hands. So I'm washing the back, I'm washing here, and then I'd like to actually start doing my fingers. So I like to count six seconds per finger, so I'm gonna actually burn up a whole minute while I'm actually doing my fingers as well. So you'll be able to see the timing of the five minute hand wash just as the YouTube video or as the video actually just goes on with the time, you'll be able to actually just take the timer from there because I actually hijacked the clock and I need it for my five minute hand wash. Also in theatres, people will be watching you. So bear in mind that they're going to be watching you for certain things. One of the things they're going to be watching is that they're going to be watching you looking at the clock. How do you know you're doing a three minute hand wash if you're not looking at the clock, okay? The other thing they're gonna be looking for is the flow of water. The flow of water needs to be from your fingertips to your elbows and your hands always need to be upward, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my pick and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm using the sharp end on a pick underneath my nails. Look, for me, I actually found that the flat end is actually really good for the actual cuticle part of the nails. And look, my nails aren't too bad. Although I was kind of working on a bike on the weekend and stuff like that, but it's not too foul underneath there. So I'll just go through. Give it a bit of a clean, looking up the clock. Okay. Okay, so what I'll do next is that I'll take my brush and I'll pre-soak my brush. And what I want to do now is I actually want to rinse. So in your theatres, you'll have a gridded floor. If you're dripping a little bit on the gridded floor, you're probably doing your hand wash correctly. I'm not going to rinse it totally. I've got my soap now. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the brush to go down my lid. The bristles are actually quite soft, so they're not too abrasive on the skin. And what I want to do now is I want to use the bristles to actually clean off my fingertips. So at this particular point, happy to abandon the brush. Speaking to my um, colleagues in theatres, it's fine for you to throw the brush inside the sink. You'll notice that I'm not going back up my arms either. So just going for my second rinse. So third application of soap. 
going through my hands again. Okay, at this point I do like to concentrate on this heel part where the hypothenar eminence is. Sometimes you might be holding a retractor or something like that and it still needs to be quite clean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go halfway. Give my hands a rinse. So what I want to do now is I'm going to soak my hands again for the last time with my elbows, taking the soap. I'm not going to go down my limbs. Now I'm concentrating on my hands and my fingers and my wrists. I'm concentrating on those areas. They're the areas I'm more likely going to be in contact with the patient if I'm scrubbing up for a procedure. So I'm just going to go around my wrist. Now I'm rinsing. Burn my five minutes now. Hands are always here. Okay, so between about your fourth intercostal space and above your waist, and you're always facing where your hands are. There's a huckabuck uh, drape. They call this a huckabuck because of the type of fabric. If you have a close look, the fabric is actually quite coarse, and uh, the huckabuck drapes will actually absorb a lot of moisture. So I'm just about to uh, do a gowning and gloving. You've got to take your time with this, okay? Make sure that you're taking all the water off your limbs as you actually creep down your limb, you're creeping down the actual drape. And then I'm gonna go the other side and I'm just gonna dry the other limb this way. Um, for me, I always start off with the left. I don't know whether it's a conditioning thing, I don't know whether it's a martial arts thing, but I always start off with my left. Okay, so next I'll be doing a video on how to, well, how I gown and glove. Thank you.